So in the last video I posted, the vast majority of you say you wanted me to do a productivity apps video. So here we are. If you have any other video ideas you want me to make, make sure to leave them in the comment section. And now let's start with the video. I'm going to be showing you four apps that I consider do a really good job helping you with your productivity, especially with online classes, you know, Zoom meetings and all that. You probably know some of them, you probably don't. So the first and most important thing you need to do if you want to increase your productivity, that's not even an app, is to subscribe to the channel. I just finished reading a 300 page research that said your productivity increases exponentially if you do it. However, if you want to talk about apps, one that has kept me focused on the activities I'm trying to do is Forest. If you don't know about this app, you can basically set timers from 10 minutes to 3 hours. During that period of time, you're unable to use your phone or your tablet, and every time you try to access any other app, you're going to get a message reminding you to focus on what you're doing and return to the forest. The interesting feature about this app is that while the timer is running, you're also growing trees for your personal forest, hence the name of the app. You additionally win coins when the timer finishes, which you can then use to buy other trees. Each one takes 30 minutes to completely grow, so you can grow multiple trees if you choose intervals of 30 minutes. You can assign labels to each session for you to remember what you spend your time on. I personally get very distracted on my chemistry class, and just as simple as seeing a timer remembering me not to use my phone helped me to pay more attention and not do other things. As I mentioned before, you can use your coins to buy different kinds of trees. There are some that are very, very expensive, so if you want to have them, you're going to have to spend a lot of time being productive. They also create events in which they release exclusive trees, and you can also buy background sounds if that's something that helps you concentrate. There's a premium version of the app, and if you decide to pay for it, which is like $2 if I'm not wrong, you are able to connect your account on many devices, which can help you expand your time tracking, and it gives you the opportunity to grow multiple trees simultaneously on the same account. Additionally, with this, you can help planting real trees with the coins you obtain from being productive. Each of these real tree costs 2,500 coins, and you can buy up to 5 trees per account. Finally, and still with the premium version, you are able to create a white list for the apps you use that you consider still part of your productivity activity or are the ones you're trying to focus on. You're able to use these apps even when the timer is running. In here, I have apps that I usually use when I'm trying to be productive, like Google Docs, Excel, note-taking apps such as Squid, OneNote, NoteShelf, and I also have the app that a lot of you have recommended and that I've been using to read and write over PDFs, which is Xodo, and I'm hoping I'm saying it right. This is a PDF reader and editor, which is really powerful in my opinion. You get a lot of customization options for the way you want to read your PDFs. You can choose one or two pages per slide, if vertical or horizontal scroll. You can change the theme of the PDF by choosing a different background color. And I gotta say, they do a pretty good job adapting the content of the PDF to the background color you choose. At least with the light and dark themes, the app doesn't just place another color in the back. You can see the images and text changing at the same time in a way in which you can still read and understand the content. Because I've used other apps that when you change to a dark background, you can barely read the images on a PDF because it's not properly designed. As you can see, you can also customize the color you want for the entire document and the color of the text you want to use. This is designed to change the entire scale of the document, so unlike the dark and light theme, the only colors that are going to be present on the PDF are the ones that you choose. Moving on, there's a tool at the bottom of the screen which you can use to move between the pages of the document and the app lets you have many tabs opened at the same time with different PDFs. The cool thing is that the viewing properties that you apply stay with each individual file, so you don't have to be worrying about changing them every time you switch to a different one. The only one that applies to all documents is the theme that you choose. The editor, on the other hand, lets you rotate the pages, crop them, add new ones, delete or rearrange them. So right there, you already have a really nice PDF editor for the pages, but you can also edit the content of them. Not entirely, there's still some things I wish you could do, like continue typing or deleting words, but you can underline the text, make it bold, or you can also write on top of the file with the S Pen. The app supports it and it even lets you access the eraser with the button of the pen. The resultant handwritten notes are not the prettiest and you don't get pressure sensitivity, but personally I don't think you really need that in here. You do get a highlighter, different shapes, comments, signatures, you can add your own type text, images or voice recording, and all the changes you make to the file are going to be automatically saved when you exit the app. So before you can modify it, you're going to get a message asking you if you would like to apply the changes on the original file or if you'd like to create a copy to work on. I consider this to be a really powerful PDF reader and editor, 
It has helped me a lot with my online classes. I'm able to follow the lecture and quickly swap between files to check definitions or any other thing that I need to bring back to memory. I recommend this app to anyone looking for a PDF reader and editor for the tablet. I think the best part is that it is completely free. You don't have to pay for any upgrades or to worry about annoying advertising. Although I consider this to be a really android app. I mean, you have a lot of customization for your tools in a really powerful app but it's not the prettiest looking one. However, an app that is also really powerful and it offers a pleasant visual experience, it's Notion. This is a very complete app that offers tools that can be used in a wide variety of fields. You can see people using this app to track their habits or to take notes for school or their daily life. And the key part about it is that they don't limit you with the things you can do. They provide you with the tools and it's up to you what you can create with them. Honestly, when I downloaded the app, I felt a little intimidated by it because of all the tools they try to get you to know. So let me explain them to you if you don't know them already. For this, let's imagine you're trying to keep track of the classes you take in college or school and the performance you have in each of them. And let's say at the moment you have taken four classes Classes, you're currently taking three classes and next semester you're going to take two classes. To organize all of this, you create a small table where you store the names of the class, in which year and in which semester you took the class, if you're currently taking it, maybe the days and hours of the class, and most importantly, the grade you got. Now, you may also want to save the dates of homework assignment, projects, and exams on a calendar for you to have a clearer view of the assignments that require most importance on specific dates. And of course, you also want to have your notes for your class, PDFs you have to read, presentations, and all that. To do all of this, there's a wide variety of apps and programs that can help you carry out each task. There's Microsoft that has Excel, Word, OneNote, there's Google, PowerPoint, Calendars, Docs, there's also Sheets, Evernote, Trello, Trello. And you understand where I'm going. But Notion gives you the tools to create all of these things in just one place. As I mentioned before, the tools and what you can do with the app is really extensive and I'm not going to be able to cover all of them in the video, so let me know if you would like me to do a separate video explaining each of them with more detail. For now, let me show you the system I'm developing for my college classes so you can familiarize with the tools and the environment of the app. Here's a quick and small summary of the tools beforehand so you can understand later what I'm going to be showing you. I think the ones we're mentioning are toggle lists and that's because they can hold other tools inside like so callouts that come with an emoji at the beginning and are meant to highlight a specific block on your text and you can see there are other tools and as it says in here if you want to move something you can just drag it and drop it wherever you want by doing this you can also create different columns which you can then adjust for your text to look better and finally i don't want to make this too extensive you can embed different types of links to your pages so you can see in here i have an image from the youtube logo and i didn't download it and that's a really handy feature that notion offers especially for android users because we don't have a drag and drop feature for web images as apple users have you can embed a wide variety of sources which are going to be right now on the screen and you can check all the features and tools available by starting your text block with a forward slash now there's an extra set of tools that you can add to your pages and you can think of them initially as the table i was mentioning before for your college classes and here's mine you can see i have the name the code if it's a completed or ongoing class the semester and year i took it and if it's a class related to my career which is computer science in each column you can specify the type of element that's going to be in there and the name of the column you can have text numbers you can create a list per each column in which you can select either a single or multiple elements you can also choose files checkbox urls emails and down here we have a more advanced section as it says in the subtitle but what i want to show you is this one that says formula if you're familiar or know anything about programming this is basically a tool that can help you program certain things inside a column so for example if i want to know which classes i've taken that are strictly related to my career i can say i want this column to be checked if the column named code contains the word TS. That will translate to this small piece of code and it helps because for every new class I create I don't have to be manually checking a box to categorize it. And that's exactly what I have in this other column, although a little more complicated just to be completely sure that it's a computer science class. So you can see there are a lot of things that can be done with these tools and there are two other things that I want to show you. First, every element in the table can actually be a page on its own, like the one we're on at the moment. You can see that this class is a little different and that's because I've added more content to it so now we have the possibility to open it as a page on its own and you can have one page dedicated to each of your classes where you can add your syllabus links to the websites related to the class pdfs word documents and you can also create another table inside of it 
and that's what I did in here for my homework and projects of the class. As you can see, I have the name. Again, if it's a completed or ongoing project, the percentage it represents to the final grade, the due date, the grade I got, and how much that represents to my final grade. And this last column is actually a formula in which I have the grade I got multiplied by the percentage of the assignment, so I know how much that really means to my final grade. You can also add summary information at the end of the table. You can see I have the average grade for each assignment and the sum of all the pieces of grades which basically represents the final grade. The second thing I wanted to show you is that you can have different views of your tables. So for example in this one I don't really care about the percentage if I have the final grade on the last row. So I created a view that's called good view, I know very original, where in the properties of the table I've chosen I don't want to see the percentage column. And you can select a different sorting method for this view that is not going to affect the other one. You can also add filters so let me create a new one to demonstrate this to you so for example I can say that I only want to see assignments that are either ongoing or next and in that way we're only seeing the tasks we need to focus on because they're not completed so we can call this view pending assignments that's really cool I know but you're not only limited to tables you may remember we talk about calendars and you can create a view specifically for that in here or a board if you prefer that type of view or a gallery if you're more of a visual person and decide to also add images to each of the entries of your database. So you can start getting an idea of all the things you can organize with this app. And the best thing is that it's synced across all your devices. So we're talking Android phones, a tablet, a Mac, an iPhone, iPad, a PC, and it's also majorly free. There are two personal plans and the personal pro plan is actually free for students and teachers. So if you have an educational email, you can choose this plan for free. But the regular plan is also really good. So you don't have too much to worry about. As I mentioned before, you can use this app for your classes. You can also track your habits, take regular notes, track your expenses, your budget, or plan a to-do list for the day. But if you're specifically looking for a to-do list app, I will recommend you to look at any do, which is basically an app designed to plan your day, week, or month if you really like to plan things. This is also a freemium app, so you can use it mostly for free and you can unlock more features with the premium version. It's a pretty straightforward app, I used to use it a lot to have a time for everything in my day, but I failed one day and now I haven't been able to go back to using it regularly. Nevertheless, let me explain you how it works. Once you open the app, you have some default lists where you can add some of the things you're planning on doing. When you create a new task, you're given the possibility to assign it to one of your lists, give them tags, which in case you're not buying the premium option, you can only use the priority tag. And finally, you can set a time for the app to remind you to do this activity. They have a very useful thing, which they've called any do moment, which is basically a time in which the app helps you to plan your day. It displays every task you have for that day and you can choose if you already completed it, if you're going to do it later in the day or if you want to move the task for tomorrow, in two days, next week or someday in the future. This is really helpful for you to have a specific time in mind for every task you've created and you can customize the hour and days you want this pop-up to be displayed. You can also use this app along with Zapier to automate over 2,000 other apps like your email, Trello, Messenger, OneNote, and many others. There are several things you can set it to do. You basically set triggers and action down in either of the apps and what you want to happen when that action is triggered. They also give you the possibility to create your grocery list in here. You can add all the items you want and the app assigns it to a group like household essentials, fruit and vegetables and once you picked an item you can check it off the list and when you finish checking every item you can uncheck all of them or clear them if you're planning on doing a different list. Probably the thing I like the most about the app is the widget they have. I don't know why, but I like to see how the things I've planned for tomorrow move from one category to the other. And the fact that you can use this app on almost any device you can think of, like literally, they advertise the app to run even on smartwatches, which is incredible. But by having it on any of your devices, plus being synced at all times without any troubles, at least in my experience, it is a really powerful app that can boost your productivity if you use 
use it regularly. If you're wondering about the premium features, you have to pay $3.05 per month but build annually, which is one of the reasons I didn't buy it because you have to pay $36 and some cents at once. They don't give you the option of choosing a smaller plan or at least I haven't seen one, but they do offer a seven days free trial for you to test the app and decide if it's worth it. On screen, you're going to be seeing the things you get by buying this premium version of the app. I do not think there's much else to say about it. It is a really useful one that can contribute to your productivity, maybe more, maybe less than the other ones, but that's your opinion, which I would like to hear down in the comments. I always read all of them, I don't always answer back because my comment is not always needed, but you can be sure that I've read every single comment that any of you have posted. I apologize for not uploading for almost a month, it was a really hectic month. I was taking two summer classes and one of them was a short summer one, so it was only one month, but it finally finished, so you can expect me to be posting more regularly. I also want to welcome and thank every new person that's joining the channel. We're past 700 subscribers at the moment this video is being recorded, and I really appreciate every single one of you. I'm currently trying out new things, both in editing and while recording. It takes a little more time, but I feel more confident about posting it. Let me know if you noticed them, what you think about them, what you think about the video, Video. And if you got till here, comment the red dragon was right, and I'll know you're a true one. Thank you for your support. Stay safe. Have a nice week. This has been a regular teenager. Take care. Peace.